So today we are going to be talking about Diddy the Diddler, okay? And everything that I've been noticing so far and then even people who have even gone out of their way to protect this man. So we're gonna get into it, but first off, I wanted to actually show this article right here. And this is of Diddy, who is supposed to be on suicide, offing himself, watch. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this. And it says, Sean Diddy Combs placed on suicide watch while awaiting trial, but mental state unclear. If I'm not mistaken, maybe I don't know. Isn't this what they said about Jeffrey Epstein? And then he ended up hanging himself with the t-shirt that was extremely thin or whatever you know what i mean um and then the guards just happened because he was supposed to be checked on like every 15 minutes and the guards just happened to disappear don't know anything came back and he was dead okay uh so people are over here comparing these two situations and it says sean diddy comes on suicide watch as he awaits trial in brooklyn's metropolitan detention center he is 54 years old he was arrested in a manhattan hotel on the night of monday september 16th the next day his indictment was unsealed revealing that he's charged with sex trafficking racketeering and transportation to engage in prostitution he was remanded to mdc on tuesday september 17th so that was the next day after pleading not guilty and being denied bail twice okay because here's the thing he was over here like oh i could go and give you like tens of million dollars to get out on bail i mean you guys would do that right and the judge looked at him and said no you're a billionaire you don't let billionaires or multi-millionaires out on bond not guilty after being denied bail twice and it says it is not known if Combs is suicidal or how long it has been on or how long he has been on suicide watch okay so that's all they have so far I think he's just saying that and if they're saying it they're saying it because okay because from my understanding there's been a lot of CEOs and business owners who have just straight up resigned you're at the top of the top. You make it as your money. And then you're like, I think I'm done. Publicist. You're not only his publicist, you're other people's publicist. You'll be making that money. <laughs> yeah. I'm done. Hmm. Well, why would you need to do that? I mean, okay, this is one client. Okay, this is just a man. Why are you resigning? Okay. So, Alex, what are you talking about? Here is a list of persons. Then I have one notable that I'm going to bring up who actually has an impressive resume. Okay. But it's this guy over here who, um, uh, his name is Ariel. Uh, and this is a list. And this is all these people stepped down within 24 hours of P. Diddy's arrest. Kevin Lyles, music exec. Eric Pryor, president of fine arts, Jonathan Holloway, Rutgers president, Robert B. Davis, general a manager of Martha's Vineyard, Chris Cameron, lacrosse coach, <clears throat> Kathy Newsham, Bay City mayor, LaMonica Mc McIver, um, Newark City Councilman, Allison Green, Tish Dean, Craig Maladra, Fifth Ward, Geneva, Joseph Kreshner, Doctor, Mike Foster, President of Nexium Travel, Susie Williams, Executive Director, so on and so forth. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, why would you need to? That seems like it's too much of a coincidence. Why would you need to go and quit your job that you're making? I mean, we got chief minister, doctor, assistant coaches, chief prosec prosec prosecutor, chief prosecutor, CEOs, executive directors, more doctors, deans, councilmen, uh, mayors, coaches, presidents. Why would you need to do that if you ain't guilty? Okay, but one I found was very interesting was this guy, and this is from the same person, Ariel. Um, but one I found was very interesting was this guy. This guy started out as this is Nike CEO. This is Nike CEO John Donahoe. <laughs> Donahoe. All right, but here's the thing: he started out as an intern. He was working for Nike for like what thirty six years, I believe. He started out as an intern. 
been working and you just all of a sudden after Diddy gets indicted ah I mean I think I'm done with the company all of y'all just done with working not right now okay okay come on now let's keep it real because what is going on and this is where that comparison that people are making of epstein and diddy came to fruition uh because they're like hey they're both charged with trafficking now the difference between epstein and diddy was diddy's a black man epstein obviously was a white dude but the difference is diddy had a lot of influence with the black community in terms of having black people participate and doing all that. I mean, we've seen countless and countless of videos where he's in interviews. I'm going to show y'all some videos later, but where he's in interviews and appropriately touching people, making people feel uncomfortable. You've seen all that kind of stuff going on, whether they are underage or they're adults. Most of what we've seen were adults. Okay. And then they're over here recounting crazy stories and their booty hurt. Okay. Then you have Epstein where it was not so much so out in the open with interviews and like, oh, okay, that dude's weird. It was more like a, oh. Then you had Ghislaine, who people, that was his, that was your missus. She's the madam. She's the one that, okay, I'll do it because they'll trust me more, okay? And that's also where this lady comes in because this is his publicist. This is Diddy's madam. This is Diddy's publicist, okay? This lady right here. But let's continue. So now this is the point where you start seeing how he was being inappropriate to certain people and people just felt uncomfortable around him. All right. So this one is a video. Um, I can't read that name. Um, Kag Drogo. Uh, and it says, Diddy crimes are worse than you think. His arrest is more significant than you may realize. Justin Bieber was only 15 years old when he spent this time or spent the time uh, with Diddy that left him traumatized okay uh, and here's the thing Diddy was into this whole thing of adopting kids and wanting to just hang out with them why are we hanging out with children Justin he's in you ever seen the movie 48 hours right now he's having 48 hours with Diddy him and his boy um they're having the times of their lives like 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 the you know, where we hanging out and what we doing, um, we, we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15 year old's dream. Um, you know, I, I, I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed the Usher. I'm signed to Usher. I, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did yes. Usher's first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, He's with me, so, um, and, and, and we're going to go full, buck full crazy. We're going crazy. Crazy. I'm taking this out tonight. What you want to do? What you want to do over the next 48 hours? 48 hours. Let's go, um, are we going to, let's just go get some girls. Let's go and get some girls. Man. Everything's good? Everything's Selling great. out arenas and everything? Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? You, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, biz, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so right. Okay. My number. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, we're gonna rewind that because um, there was a lot of stuff that was in there, probably about five or six pieces, where I'm like, wait, hold up, and looking at body language, certain things said. Let's let that play again. Justin, he's in, you ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now, he's having 48 hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives. A 15-year-old is having 48 hours with Diddy, who's probably, what, 30 years old or whatever at this time. He's having the time of his life. That face does not tell me that he's having the time of his life. Yeah, I'm so happy. You would say, Alex, you don't look happy. That's the point. Okay, you and your friend, and he don't even know the friend's name. So there's that. And y'all just at a strange man's house. You don't know this man. You're signed to Usher because he was popping it open with Diddy. Not saying it's right. I'm just saying was what happened. Okay, we already know that he, that Diddy 
was um that Diddy was coming over and messing around with this man. Okay. Whether it was consensual or not, I don't know because I wasn't there. But we already know that was going on. And now you're hanging out with the 15-year-old and his friend. It's like, 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 the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing, um, we, we can't really disclose. So I'm going to be in a remote place doing undisclosed activities with an underage 15-year-old boy. And no one's like, oh man, that's, that, that's crazy. What? But, um, it's definitely a 15 year old's dream. Um, and also, I don't know if you noticed, Justin's over here by his lip, like, uh, 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 no. You know, I, I, I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed the Usher. Uh, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first time. He signed to Usher. I'm signed to Usher. You had legal guardianship. Why do you need legal guardianship of a minor? I don't, I guess I'm confused. Why would you need that? I... And no one was like, uh-uh, nah, we gotta, I gotta have a parent or a cousin or somebody, no? Childhood best friend or something of the mama, no, nothing? That's how my dad, that's his first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me, so, um, and, 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 and we gonna... Did you see that nervous like <laughs> Fool, buck fool, crazy. You're going crazy. Crazy. And what are you doing with the 15 year old that y'all going wild he can't drink and then he's about to point out that oh i'm gonna be driving this you're 15 i thought you can't drive until you're 16 am i missing something i don't i guess i'm confused i'm taking this out tonight what you want to do what you want to do over the next 48 hours 48 hours let's go um are we gonna let's just go get some girls let's go and get some girls man Let's go and get some girls. You're 15. This man is over the age of 18. Y'all not going to be hollering at the same girl. So what girls are you getting? And then Diddy was like, ah, like, oh, man, you really want to do that? Ugh, girls? Uh-uh, I got you. Everything's good? Everything's Selling right. out arenas and everything? Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? No, you, no. Ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't... I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never. He's stumbling and bubbling. Mind it, notice when he was younger, he wasn't doing all that. Even though it was only a little snippet. But here he's shaking side to side, doing all this. He's stumbling, bumbling over his words. And he said, oh, well, you know, I mean, I just I didn't know. I uh, I mean, I know you're trying to get in contact with me, but um, I mean, I just I, I mean, I could give you my number. Now. That that sounds like a girl who don't want to talk to you. I'm not saying, you know, talking about his gender or anything like that. I'm not talking about his sex. But this sounds like a girl who don't want to talk to you. You're like, man, baby, give me your number. Nah, I mean, I just, I, I, you know, I gotta go. I think I got uh, a shoe appointment. I got, she don't want to give you her number. And you were the creepy dude, Diddy, trying to get her number. Never really got my number, so. Right, okay. Number? Yeah, yeah. Of course he wants your number. And now we're going to fast forward to Bieber being older, significantly older. He looks dirty. Okay, he looks untidy. He doesn't look good at all. He got all these tattoos on now, and he's not he's not that that pretty Justin Bieber from back in the day. I get you grow up, but he looks rough. Okay. Remember how Chris Brown used to look? It was like, oh yes. Run it, run it. And then now he looks like, oh. I mean, he's still kind of cute, but it's like, mm. I don't really like what you did. This is what this is giving me, okay? Uh, and let's just go and see what he's doing.
Justin's like, I need to get up out of here. But what people are saying, allegedly, that he was looking for wires just in case you may have been hiding some cords all up on you. And now we're going to move on to that video that went out a few months ago of uh, a hotel that actually suppressed evidence of domestic violence which i don't think you're supposed to do and i hope they get sued out of the a-hole for that um of diddy beating the ish out of cassie new surveillance footage obtained exclusively by cnn appears to corroborate some of the allegations of abuse against music mogul sean diddy Combs. the video captured on multiple cameras shows Combs assaulting his then girlfriend cassie ventura in a hallway at a Los Angeles hotel in March 2016. A lawsuit filed by Ventura in November last year and settled the next day referenced actions that seem to match those seen in this video. There is no audio. According to the complaint, comes the Kicked her. Looked like in the head. Kicked her in the body. Pushed her down. Dragged her. Okay. Now, what he and his lawyers are trying to say is, oh, well, she was cheating on him and she threw, I think they were trying to say like she slapped him or she threw some water in his face. And that's why this girl looked like she was ready to go. Okay. She looked like she was ready to go. She was by the elevator. She was ready to go. And he had a towel on. So when did she, if she would have done that, if she would have slapped you, wouldn't you have done all this in the room? If she would have threw some water on you, wouldn't you have done all this in the room? Oh, well, she was over here texting the dude that she's with now and yada, yada, yada. And she also did all this other stuff to me. And wouldn't she have, wouldn't all this have taken place in the room? But it looked like you went from your room all the way to where she was, then abused her. This is coming off like that didn't actually happen. It comes off like you just wanted to go and say something to try to save face so that you don't have worse charges coming up against you. Like you just made some stuff up because what is a, I mean, what's up, what's going on with this? It's from 2016 and you paid off the hotel. Yo, I know y'all got the video footage. Here's $10 million. Here's $5 million. Here's a million dollars. Here's $2 million. But now I actually want to go and look at this Combs indictment. Okay that just recently came out and it says united states district court southern district of new york the usa against uh sean combs puff daddy p daddy diddy pd and love okay that's his new i'm love i'm love all that mess okay so let's just see what this says racketeering conspiracy okay this is count one it says for decades Diddy, the defendant, abused, threatened, and coerced women and others around him to fulfill his sexual desires, protect his reputation, and conceal his conduct. So he's abusing people, threatening people, coercing people. Okay? Raping, rapping people too. Okay, let's okay, let's keep it real. But let me insert. To do so, Combs relied on his employees' resources and influence of the multifaceted business empire that he led and controlled, creating a criminal enterprise whose members and associates engaged in and attempted to engage in, among other crimes, sex trafficking, forced labor, kidnapping, arson, bribery, and obstruction of justice. At all times relevant to the indictment, Sean Combs. Uh, the, the defendant engaged in a persistent and pervasive pattern of abuse towards women and other individuals. This abuse was at times verbal, emotional, physical, and sexual. So this is saying that he is a predator and he is preying on everybody. He's an abuser. He ain't ish. As part of the pattern, as part of his pattern of abuse, Combs manipulated women to participate in highly orchestrated performances of sexual activity with male commercial sex workers. Sometimes Combs and others acting in his direction made arrangements for women and commercial sex workers to fly to Combs locations. I wanted to actually point out this part right here is page 8E. Members and associates of Combs Enterprise enabled Combs control over victims by following his direction regarding financial payments to victims, advancing or suppressing the victim's career opportunities and acquiring the controlled substances Combs used to keep the victims compliant. 
Members, association, uh, members and associates of the Combs Enterprise at times witnessed Combs' violence towards victims or the victims' injuries caused by Combs without intervening. Now, count two, this is sex trafficking by force, fraud, or coercion, victim one, all right? And it says from at least in or about 2009 up to and including in or about 2018 in the Southern District of New York and elsewhere, Sean, the defendant in and affecting interstate and foreign commerce, knowingly recruited and enticed, harbored, transported, provided, obtained, advertised, maintained, patronized, and solicited by any means a person knowing and in reckless disregard of the fact and means of force, threats of force, fraud, coercion, as described in Title 18, U.S. Code Section 1591E2, and any combination of such means uh, would be used to cause the person to engage in a commercial sex act and attempted, aided, and abetted, and willfully cause the same. To wit, Combs recruited, enticed, harbored, transport, transported, and maintained a person, victim one, and attempted, aided, and abetted, and willfully caused victim one to engage in commercial sex act. Sounds like a sex slave is what you were having. Okay. Um, count three, transportation to engage in prostitution. And it says from at least in or about 2009 up to including in or about 2024 in the Southern District of New York and elsewhere, Sean Combs, the defendant, knowingly transported an individual in interstate and foreign commerce with intent that the individual engage in prostitution and attempted, aided, and abetted, and willfully caused the same to wit, Combs transport, uh, transported, aided, and abetted, and willfully caused the transportation of female victims and commercial sex worker in interstate and foreign commerce on multiple occasions with the intent that that they engage in prostitution. I want to actually switch gears to this video that I saw. Higher ups who want him down. So there are white folks who want to destroy Puff, and that's why all this is happening right now. Just like Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, whether or not they were guilty has nothing to do with the takedown. So Puffy sues the big liquor company for racial discrimination, failing to properly invest in Ciroc and De Leon, and here we are. If you think those two things are unrelated, something's wrong with you. If you think those two things are unrelated, something is wrong with you. Sean Puffy Combs' federal charges have little, if anything, to do with domestic abuse or pedophilia. His major sex crime federally is he's being accused of transporting women across state lines to engage in sex. What we call prostitution. Not Casey, not the freak-offs, not underage girls, but prostitution. Why am I bringing this up? Because I don't support prostitution either. I do not support men paying for the sugar box. I do not support black women having to sexually exploit their sugar box in order to pay their bills. With that being said, prostitution is the oldest female business on the planet Earth. Prostitution is the oldest female business on the planet Earth. Prostitution is the oldest female business on the planet Earth. It is the sexual trafficking that Sean Puffy Combs is being accused of. Not domestic abuse, not freak-offs, not stomping out Cassie, not engaging in sex with underage women. It is interstate sexual trafficking that is the charge why am i bringing this up i'm bringing this up peace god because when i listen to the news they're not talking about the evidence against sean puffy combs when i listen to the news they're not talking about the evidence of sean puffy combs when I listen to the news, I have yet to hear anybody give me a specific piece 
of interstate sex trafficking evidence against Sean Puffy Combs. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it for the low political IQ Negroes. I'm going to say it for the average political IQ Negroes. And I'm going to say it for the high IQ Negroes. I haven't seen or heard a single piece of evidence against Sean Puffy Gomes. I ain't read it in the New York Times. I ain't read it in the Philadelphia Inquirer. I ain't heard it on CNN. I ain't seen it on headline news. Where is the evidence that Sean Puffy Combs engaged in interstate sex trafficking? I keep hearing about Cassie when I turn on the news. Why are we hearing about Cassie when Cassie has nothing to do with the federal indictment? I don't think any black man should have a thousand bottles of baby oil. I don't think any black man needs a thousand bottles of baby oil. But I haven't seen anywhere in federal law where owning a thousand bottles of baby oil is a federal crime. Brothers and sisters, are you with me so far? Brothers and sisters, are you with me so far? Do you understand, overstand, and understand what the most requested black scholar in the world is saying right now? Do you understand and overstand and understand what the most requested black scholar in the world is saying right now? Do you understand, overstand, and understand what the premier pan-Africanist on the planet is saying to you right now? Baby oil is not a federal crime. Stomping out Cassie, he was not charged with a crime. The freak-offs are not crimes. So why do we keep hearing about Cassie? Why, why do we keep hearing about baby oil? Why do we keep hearing about freak-offs? Where are the federal charges and why are the charges being sealed? Why did the feds seal the charges against Sean Puffy Combs? I'm going to tell you one reason why the feds sealed the charges against Sean Puffy Combs. One of the biggest reasons they sealed the charges against Sean Puffy Combs is because the evidence is probably weak. The evidence is probably weak. And because the evidence is probably weak, that he is guilty of interstate sex trafficking. And because the evidence is probably weak that he is guilty of interstate sex trafficking, they had to seal the charges. They had to hide the charges from you and I. They had to hide the charges from you and I long enough for the public execution to be carried out. As you all have just heard, Mr. Umar, and what he said, he's saying, I don't see the evidence. You guys have it sealed, so it didn't happen. Now, this is not a state arrest. This is a federal one. Anything that we know about the feds. Okay. Yeah. Are they slimy? Yes, of course. They're slimy. They want to get whatever they want to get. Just like when you have mafia dudes, they're like, oh, we got you on tax evasion. Well, I'm not even supposed to be doing this anyway. So what are we talking about? You want me to pay taxes on something I illegally was inquiring anyways? Uh, illegally acquiring anyways? Mm, that's a little weird to me. But I want to bring this back up. And this is why I read the indictment first. Because, I mean, it just says it throughout. Um, and victim one, we don't have the name for it for a person. But victim one is who this happened to. And this is just page three, five. And it says, Sean Combs or Sean Puffy Combs, the defendant used the Combs business, including certain employees to carry out, facilitate and cover up his abuse and commercial sex. When they are talking about commercial sex with the sex workers, they're really referring to prostitution. These employees, those employees, including security staff, household staff, personal assistants and high ranking supervisors and other close associates acted as Combs's intermediaries, intermediaries 
and their conduct was facilitated and assisted by Combs' control of the Combs business, i.e. these people were covering up things. When the feds come and get you, they're not like, oh, let's let's still try. We need some more evidence. Yeah, we need me. They already got evidence on you. Let's move on. So I seen the, someone just obviously, obviously this was from, um, this was uh, Leo DiCaprio and they just put Epstein's face on it because there people were speculating that may happen to Diddy. I don't think so, but people are speculating. Now, I want to just go and end this video because it's long enough. I want to go and just end this video off with just some uncomfortable moments, okay? It truly is about the Benjamin, as we see. Oh, yes, he's, he's literally. He's literally about the Benjamin. Yeah. Well, now, when we come back, we're going to talk more with Puffy. And if you want to hang out, more than welcome to stick around, my brother. All right, All right. we'll be right back with more right after this. It's it truly is about the Benjamin, as we see. Oh, yes, he's, he's literally. It's literally about the Benjamin. Yeah. Well, now, when we. years that you've become friendly p diddy and uh, there you are with uh, well, yeah. was it was p diddy very, did he ask to be in the photo with you or yeah. did you, was it the I, other way around i mean p diddy's a little up his own ass to be honest <laughs> <laughs> but that was, that was... <laughs> uh, now, we were at a college football game the ucla <laughs> but he is you know what i mean i didn't even want to get in the picture he barely shook my hand i was about to just give my left to the chin real quick <laughs> But, uh, this this is LA, isn't it? You just go around meeting people, so I'm just having fun. But P D D was on the bottom of the list of people oh, I wanted to meet, especially only, after finally meeting them. Only you could say P D D is up his own arse. <laughs> and then here, so people are thinking, and it, you know, Oprah's been around for a while, and I haven't really seen her do anything, if you know what I mean. Um, but you see her by certain people who you found out were in to mess and you're kiki keying ha 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 and were you on the islands were you at these freak offs too you know so it's very 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 interesting how she is just kind of going under the radar for a lot of this stuff even though we see her and people are just oh oprah oprah and it's like no one's gonna bring up anything but let me know what y'all think about um, everything that I brought up. What are your opinions on all this? Um, let me know down below. Hello, hello, hello. I would greatly appreciate it if you can actually support my little small business called Latrice Limited. It is on latricelimited.com. So as you can see right here, I actually sell candles and a wide variety of other items as well. This is my big forehead, okay? Um, but I actually want to show you just a couple of different items that I do sell. Um, this is actually going to be a part of my soap collection that I have. As you can see, I have a variety of different soaps on here. I actually have two pages worth of soaps and um, everything is handmade okay natural clean ingredients as well um, you can also see right here these are my candles all right they're all handmade everything vanilla sweet roses uh, sage and vanilla vanilla and sweet roses are actually my favorite scents that i do have i also have a few other items on here I'm actually going to go and show you all the bath bombs that I do have. As you all can see, there's eucalyptus and sage, uh, sweet pea harmony, and so many more. And then we're just going to finish off on the gift sets that I have. There's a variety of them from like the big ones like this for 45 And then you have some of the smaller ones. And you have these itty bitty ones down here that includes essential oil blends. Definitely shop with your girl definitely help your girl out i would greatly appreciate it this is like my little baby over here okay <laughs> um i would greatly appreciate it and enjoy